Hello everyone, Bandicoot Commando here, and welcome back to Metal Gear Solid. Last time, oh boy, we did a lot last time. We were able to cross the canyon, across a minefield, to get to the nuclear warhead storage building. But we fought a tank that had Vulcan Raven in it, piloting it, but we were able to defeat and destroy the tank, for now at least, because Raven survived, but we might see him again later. And after some mishaps in exploring, we're here at the nuclear something, basement level 2, I guess. And Hal Emmerich is through here. Now, with some advice with Deeth Throat, to get through this area, we would need to find a... Here we go, a remote control missile. The Nikita, I think is how you pronounce it. And today, we're gonna do that. Ooh, I gotta watch my step. So... Here, you gotta be quick with this. Alright, what you gotta do is you gotta control the missile and it really moves fast. So be sure to, like, randomly change direction so that you can make sure that you don't accidentally crash into anything. Got it. I was worried I was going to miss. I wasn't sure if that was it or not. Now, those gun turrets would have probably shot it, the missile if I wasn't careful, but... Right, let me go back in and replenish my oxygen. There we go. Now let's go back in. Okay, here. We need to be quick, or we can find... Yeah, this. Wait, is that a weapon? Yeah, that's a weapon, actually. Where is it? The FAMAS... It's a, it's a good gun. It's a, it's an automatic kind of gun. It's pretty good. So we'll save that there, though. Uh, another ration, always welcomed. Snake. Oh, my mistake. Okay, we can't go through here. Can we go through this one? Yes, we can. But I think that's a gun turret. Yes, it is. Oh, uh, why did I... why? Pick that... the gas mask. This is what we need. Okay, let me go back and replenish my oxygen again really quickly. Okay, so, with the gas mask... Wait, hang on. Okay. Okay, with the gas mask, it does what it allows you to do. You can breathe safely through this map, and I like when you go into first-person shooter, you get this unique little view. And Snake is actually breathing. Now, your oxygen meter will slowly decrease, though, so that's at least the good part, so... Let's explore over here. Okay, please tell me I can... No, I can't. Not through there through here at least. Some C4s and grenades, always welcomed. Ah! Oh no! Oh, I got greedy. Got a little too greedy there. Oh, I gotta do this again. Well, I don't know if I have to do it again or not, but I'm gonna find out. Alright, yeah, it's good. I don't have my gas mask, so I better move. Chaff. Pick up the gas mask. Uh, actually, no, I better replenish my oxygen and quickly... Oh, get all that O2 in you. I think I'm just gonna press on without checking the other area, because I think I'll be fine anyway, so, um... Get the gas mask on. Yeah, 
I might want to bring my chaff back out to disable that gun turret over there. Get through here and okay, we're good. Sounded like violence was going on. Wait, what is this? What is that? Oh, it's a thing. It looks like they were cut by some type of blade. This looks something straight out of Silent Hill. It's, it's a ghost. Some phasma bullets. Well, we better hurry if he's here. Uh-huh. Oh, he's dead now. No, he's still alive. Uh, can I interact with him or something? Okay, wait. I hate to be a dick, but I'm curious. Oh, I, I can't shoot him? Wait, hang on. Yeah, I can't shoot him or anything. Well, I hate to be meaner, but... That didn't kill him, surprisingly. <laughs> um, made a mess of yourself there? Stealth camouflage? Who are you? Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? Oh, what next? Snake. You're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy the moment. What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. <laughs> I've come from another world to do battle with you. What is it, revenge? It is not Revengeance? A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respite. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. No! Ah, fine. He can watch from inside there. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. Okay, the ninja here. Uh, let's see what they have to say. Let's see what Campbell and the others have to say. 
If you have a question about members of Foxhound, you should ask Naomi. But he's not. There's no one in Foxhound like that. There yeah. Apparently, only six members of Foxhound: Psychomantis, Sniper Wolf, Vulcan Raven, Decoy Octopus, Revolver Ocelot, and finally Liquid. Liquid. Genome soldiers under his command are next generation special forces. Foxhound is intended to be a small number of highly elite, hand picked soldiers. You're talking about the current Foxhound, right? Yes. Snake, who or what is that thing? Is he an enemy or not? That's what I'd like to know. Naomi, you really don't have any idea? Maybe I should ask you the same thing. What? Nothing. Forget about it. Okay, Miller, you got any advice? He's just playing with you. Why don't you try throwing away your weapons? Oh, yeah, that's important. Meryl? Ninja? I've never heard of any member of Boxhound like that. But you're gonna have to do something about him if you want to save Dr. Emmerich. Okay. Nastasha? Look at him move. He must have some kind of powered exoskeleton. Powered exoskeleton? You mean like prosthetic arms and legs? No. Prosthetics are intended to replace original body parts. That ninja's exoskeleton makes him far stronger than any normal human. He is a true cyborg, a cybernetic organism. So he's half machine, huh? I heard rumors about the experiments, but I had no idea that such a creature really existed. Mm. Deep throat? Of course, no response. And I guess Mei Ling might have something to say. Snake, you can't use your radar. It's confused oh. by all of the radio interference. That ninja is giving off some kind of electrical energy. I don't need to save though. Snake win. I will. Okay, the ninja here is a ninja, so he does move really fast. Now, you really don't want to use your weapons. You can if you want, but I would rather do it hand to hand. Good. Now we can fight as warriors. Hand to hand. It is the basis of all combat. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. Uh, yeah. If you do attack him, he will say the snake I know would never use a weapon like that. But if you have trouble, I think chaff grenades can sort of like slow him down. Come here. Come here. He does move pretty fast and he's actually got some good range for his moves. Whoa. Ouch. That hurts. Okay. I should also say, you cannot grab him. Oh yeah, he'll do that too. Ah! Oh yeah, I like how he'll make the papers on the desk blow around. It's just a little game of hit and run. Ah! Oh, you broke a computer. Right, I gotta time my movements here. He's not all too hard, but... Oh, I forgot he could jump like that. Don't let him corner you. Okay, I'm gonna run around. You can... Well, he can break the glass through these. Well, thanks. You gave me an easy way out. You doing it? You doing all right in there, Emric? Oh. That's good, Snake. Hurry up and catch me. Now this is where he's gonna play a game of hide-and-seek, really. He'll be at different parts, and you gotta find him, really. He will move around. I don't think he's there anymore, so... But you could clearly see his shadow, though. Or... Or you could see him crawling on the ceiling. Where are you? There you are. 
It's only when he gets close that he'll let off the cloak camouflage. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Like old times. I've been waiting for this pain. Um, this is where it gets weird. Okay, now he's just gonna walk to you to beat you up. Like, look at that. Look how scary that is of him just walking to you all menacingly. He'll also dodge your punches. And he'll be like, hurt me more. Oh yeah, that's a good screenshot right there to use. And he does hit hard. Oh, that punch in particular, not all the others I've been giving you. I'm gonna run by you. It was just that one punch you remember, not all the others. Oh, ouch, that hurt like hell. Oh, you faked me out again. Alright, I gotta be careful here. Ow. Okay. I normally don't have too much trouble with the ninja, but that was something. So I'll just cut back until we get to that part. Alright, we're back to this part again, everyone. And where is he? Oh, there he is. I'm just going to watch it. Oh, he jumped! Yeah, you want some? Come here, then. Okay, I don't like how he fakes me out like that. Hurt me more! Hurt me more, da! Oh. Okay, that's what I should have done. Is that the moment you punch, you should sort of, like, circle around him and wait until he holds still. Why is it that punch you remember? Why not all the other flurries of punches I've been giving you? Do you remember, Snake? The feel of battle? The clashing of bone and sinew? The clashing of bone and skin. Oh, you somehow got me. Man, you're such a, such a, what's the word I'm looking for? Those people that like pain. Sado something, I think. Yeah, I know that's good. You like it. Okay, one punch. He's not done. What you have to do now is you gotta find him. Watch out as he's pulsing like that. And just hit him a few times. Just watch out though, because that, that pulsing does a lot of damage. He's up there. Ow! All right, that's it. We got him. I felt that snake. Do you remember me now? Can't be. You were killed in Zanzibar. What? Not again. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Is 
it over? Won't be the last we see of him, though. Gray Fox! Colonel, that ninja is Gray Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You of all people should know he died in Zanzibar. No. He should have died, but he didn't. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And that was Gray Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Gray Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Huh. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. You can come out now, Emrick. Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Ugh. Long cutscene. Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. I get to lay back and relax with this long cutscene. Your uniform is different than theirs. You're the Metal Gear Chief Engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me? Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh, well, at least you're not one of them. Huh, are you hurt? Oh, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Fire! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know? No. All the armament was built by a separate department, and the President personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. Railgun, you said? Yeah. 
It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah, but that's not all I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you oh, link they've been destroyed. In a virtual environment, but it's all we destroyed the them. So this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launched that thing... <sighs> Damn. Damn. I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. The truth is, oh, my grandfather was part of the Manhattan, Manhattan Project. Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. Yeah. And my father, he was born on August 6th, 1945. The day, the day of the Hiroshima bomb. Yeah. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Oh, real funny, Snake. Three I sympathize. With the poor people that suffered during the bombings. Into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But the one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind? It's just in the movies. <laughs> That's not true, Emmerich. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Science can be used for to help. By the right people, that is. Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where is that? North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too? Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an island? <laughs> get a boat or a plane. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. Oh! It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was gonna use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you too. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is! Over there! <gasps> oh no! Damn, they spotted me! Meryl! What happened? 
Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. A disguise? She had such a cute way of walking. She kind of no. walked behind. You were really looking. Well, she's oh. kind of way of walking. I told you that'd be important. If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. <laughs> Nothing. I'm glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little uh, nervous. Same. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, doctor. Call me Otacon. Otacon? It stands for Otaku Convention. And Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japan animation. Oh, anime. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. I present to you Did police knots. Played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. That's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. Eh. Maybe someday we'll have mechs. Someday, but... It'd be a dangerous right. weapon. We have to take responsibility. Science has always thrived on war. Greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. Alright, well with that frequency, I should get him on the memory and uh, call him when we need him later. Okay, I think the scene... Nope. Oh, yep, smoke that. <sighs> all right. Um. All right. Before we end it, let me at least get. Let me look around and pick up the things here. Uh, call Emric or Otacon. It doesn't matter. I'm. I'm formal like that. Oh, we can go through that door now. And okay, that that's everything. So, let me start by calling Emric. Four one. Twelve. We just get him on and get him in the memory. You still haven't found Merrill? Snake, the Warhead storage building that you're in has one floor above ground and two floors below ground. Why don't you search there too? I know where to find Merrill, but now we have him on our list, so we'll need that. Second, uh, what you see here is a poster called Police Knots. And uh, over here is a poster of mechs that are also from Police Knots. Now, to those that do not... Are there anything under these? Uh, Snake, get under. I can't get under that, really? That looks like something you can get under. Get under there, Snake. Okay, maybe not. Uh, to those who do not know, uh, Hiro Kojima, other than known for making Metal Gear... Uh, was responsible for the creation of a game he made called Police Knots. The game was only released in Japan, though, I believe, so it was on... Uh, it was on the same console that Metal Gear 1 and 2 were on. The, the MJX, I think it's called, or the MSG, or... I don't remember. I think it's the MGX, and I believe it was also on um, the 3DO and on the PlayStation 2, so it was only in Japan, though. And uh, other than that, I'm going to end it here. So that'll do it for this episode of Metal Gear Solid. 
Join me next time as we uh, as we go out trying to find Meryl and contact her. So that is it, and I'll see you. I'll see you all next time.